What's good with y'all? What's good? What's good? with y'all what's good what's good we tuning in for another video i bet y'all like jay where you been man where you been for the ones that just look at the vlog channel only but uh people that's on my facebook instagram and all that uh y'all know i've been i post daily uh and all of that the vlog is more for my longer form stuff and uh i really ain't i really ain't been fooling with the cars like that to be real with y'all that's why i ain't uh Vlog, they've been more like family stuff and all of that, just enjoying times and, you know, things of that nature. So, I ain't came on the vlog channel. But, uh, well, basically, basically, i just been cooking up stuff, getting it ready. Because when I get started, I'm going to get started because a, a remix of the entire fleet is on the way. Uh, got to update y'all on some stuff because some people don't follow the facebook or the or the uh instagram so they ain't gonna know and train smoke is back i'm i'm finna we finna roll to the clip jay hall brought it yesterday so uh i ain't i forgot to do an intro and it ran in the ugly outside and all this so i like give y'all the intro today but uh y'all check that out and then i'm finna get this thing back look so y'all can see it because remember we had a dent we had a dent in the door on the scratches and stuff well my father-in-law made a mistake and backed into it but you know it's all good man so Jay Hall did his thing, and y'all about to see right now. So y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all see it. Train smoke is back, y'all. Back, repaired, man. Told y'all coming back. Let y'all check it out. Jay Hall to fix it, did it magic again. And uh, yeah, man. I'm gonna let y'all check this thing out. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all see it? All right, brand new, man. We did it again. Again, man. They all automotive has done it again, y'all. Y'all see, y'all remember what it what it don't look like? And he fixed he fixed some dings and stuff that was in the car. Look at that. Bad man. Can't tell it, can't tell it ever happened. Can't tell it ever happened. And didn't take them all day either. But y'all know that. BCG fam, y'all know that. Look at that. Can't tell nothing happened. He done it again, y'all. J Hall Automotive. Y'all get at him. All right, y'all. Y'all see it, man. Train smoke is back. Look at it. Y'all remember that dent? We're right there, that nasty dent. Look at it. He knocked that thing out, man. Can't tell it ever happened, man. I got to give a huge shout out to Jay Hall Automotive, man, once again. Y'all know that's who I use. That's who I use, and we got more on the way. Believe me, I told I told everybody, uh, you know, every time I do something, it worth the wait. Everybody was haggling me. <laughs> when you can, why you don't paint the cars and this and that? You know, that's just not my top priority, man. I don't, I don't really, I'm not, I don't really bother with too much cosmetics. I'm not trying to win car shows. I do it when I do it. That's how I feel. Like, uh, this, this stuff is easy to me because it's out of my power. So it ain't nothing that I can do. But uh, it's going to be worth the wait, man. Like, Meech, when I was telling y'all, Meech going to be right now. When I get the engine and stuff uh, in it and done, and it will work the wait. So it's going to be the same thing. But y'all see what's – y'all going to um, be able to check out what's up next. Uh, We're going to be doing an all-over um, with Wifey Car. So when y'all see that, man, y'all gonna love it. But I got to give him a huge shout out, man. Look at this. Matched it up 
perfectly and fixed some more things on the car, some more spots that I hadn't even noticed. So, man, he knocked it out. It's gone. We back. You best believe I will be driving this thing daily, cause <laughs> I miss it. So I've been driving. I'll be driving it, man. But uh, y'all stay tuned, man. This vlog ain't over with. Uh, I'll turn y'all back on in a few. All right. So y'all saw uh, train smoke being delivered. And as you can see, this thing is back all brand new, man. Like it like it never happened. I mean, Jay Hall did an amazing job. Y'all done saw how it get down, man. And we, we really, when I say the fleet about to get remixed, I mean, y'all gonna be in for a surprise call. People been waiting, you know, constantly asking, when you gonna paint them, when you gonna paint them? Y'all about to see that in engine remixes too. Cause I, I kinda, I took it, uh, I really took it easy this year and it was my intentions. That was my intentions. I told my wife at the beginning of the year, I'm like, man, I'ma kinda, I'ma kinda slow roll this year on the cars and handle everything around. Like, you know, life, life is bigger than cars, just point blank period. Life is bigger than cars, and it's more important things to life than cars. Even from business to, to relationship, like I said, my relationship with God, uh, and, and more, man. It's a lot more things more important that I'm more focused on. And my two biggest goals this year, my two biggest goals was to read that Bible from front to back. Holy Spirit fell on me to do that, and I did it. I completed the Bible from front to back this year, along with the Dead Sea Scrolls. And I have read 12, you know, 13 of the 16 removed books of the Apocrypha. And it's just the spirit leading me and all the studies and stuff, man. It just, I always figured, I said, man, I don't, I didn't get this growth and acquire everything for no reason. Like, I, that, that always been my belief. I was like, man, cause it just, like that. You know, I had times up and down, up and down in my life testimony, but it, it like, the last time it just gone, I'm like, man, I know I don't have all this, no reason. And I always tell my wife, this is not our stuff. I always say that. That's why we give so much. So this year, the object was that. That was my first biggest goal. My second biggest goal was to uh, get my shop up, which I have it up. Y'all probably like, why you ain't showed it, Jay? Well, I want to show it to y'all when uh, everything is perfect. It's up. I'm looking at it. I done went out in it every day. But the ball not rolling on. It's still a lot of money to be spent in it. And uh, it's missing one door. It's missing one of the garage doors. Uh, because they had a they had a problem. It was just through shipping. It was uh it was already kind of messed up. And they, they were like, hey, something ain't going right with it. The other one went up, excuse me, the other one went up smooth. So I'm out there fumbling with it. I'm like, oh, something ain't right. Came and told me it was a problem with it from the jump. So I'm waiting on the door, which I know I ain't going to get it to next year. And I don't want to just, I got my vision on how I want to do stuff, so I'm not going to show it yet. But it is up. So y'all do know that much. It's up. It's up and it's huge. So uh, when I get the other door on, I'm going to show it. Y'all going to see that vlog because I got a nice one for you. I time lapsed the entire thing from front to, from start to finish. So y'all going to be able to see that, man. It's a nice vlog. It's going to be a long one, probably about an hour. But you're going to be able to see it all come together. But, uh, yeah, so look, if you remember, if you saw the vlog, that dent was right there in the door. And now, now it's out of here. They haul got down. And look, look at the paintwork. This whole side of the car actually was painted. Because he got some more dings out that was up here and back there. You know, I ain't look at the car that deep. I was like, hey, it looked good. So he fixed the whole entire side. Started at the door, he was like, hey, we're gonna take care of all of it. But you know, bro is a perfectionist, man. Like, that's a good thing though. He see everybody work, he treat every car like it's his own. So, man, he painted that joker, matched it up down to the T. Matched it up down to the T, man, and train smoke is back. Can't even tell anything happened, man. And uh did it in a timely manner too. The car was uh I think it was two and a half weeks. The car finished. The rest of the time, it was just letting it cure, letting it fully dry. So the car finished in two and a half weeks, man. I ain't calling now. You know, I don't call and haggle people. I don't do that. I ain't calling. He he sent me a picture. He sent this how fast he is. He sent me a picture with the dent gone, all ready for paint. And the next day, <laughs> I got a picture. That thing was 
that thing was painted. Painted, man, cleared. Man, he, he, and of course he delivered it, washed and all, all of that. He always, man, just great work. Him and his son, him and his son, man, they do some amazing work, man. His son actually still in high school. I want to show love, shout out to him too, man. That's uh, that's how you do it. Get started early, man. Much love to him. Uh, so as y'all know, Jay Hall painted brown coat. He painted the side of this. Uh, I'm not gonna paint this car because I like this car already. This is something that I would do. This is a setup that I would do. I love darker colors, grays and blacks. And y'all remember, Jay Hall fixed the money Carlo as well. It was dented up right here. He fixed this whole side. He fixed that too. Y'all know he painted the whole truck, did it all over. And uh now I'm about to I'm about to pay him like a big lump sum of money. I told him I'm finna lock you in. <laughs> I told him I'm finna lock you in, man. But you, you have to make it worth the person while. So I'm paying a big lump sum like boom. Lock him in and whenever we do that, we're gonna get started. And uh y'all will see. So other than that, look. It kind of like an update video. The don't is gone, man. Don't game is gone. If you, if you follow my, uh, if you follow my what's the name, my Facebook and all of that, you know I had a contest going on on don't game, and uh, don't game is gone, man. Uh, the winner actually, I was saying North Carolina. He told me he's from North Carolina. But he resides in VA, so the winner has the car. He received it. It's in Virginia now. Uh, I can't remember what part of Virginia, but it's in Virginia. Uh, had it transported. They came and picked it up. Actually, the second day, they were putting up the shop because they put the shop up in two days. Uh, so it was day two of the shop, man. He got it transported. It got up there, and uh, he sent the video. If you was on my Instagram, Facebook, you saw that video. He's very happy with it. And that's how we do it, man. You know, we do stuff right way. Now, why? It look bright, man. Y'all probably saying, why? Yeah, here we go. It did better. Jay, why you uh, why you get rid of the don't? Well, I'm going to tell y'all, man. I had been saying a lot of stuff I don't say on camera. I just didn't want the car no more. I just, I hope it don't fall, man. I'm going to have to catch it. I just didn't want the car. Uh, I like the car, but it one of them things where, like I said, I asked my partner, I said, you want to sell the car? He gave me what I felt is a great price. You know, others are already called people try to low buy, but I felt it was a great pot price, and I knew what I would get. And uh, I knew it was a hard top, but it wasn't exactly what I wanted. I know we all have done that before. Which, if y'all part of BCG, the BCG fam, you know exactly what I want. And you know that's my second dream car, not my first. My first dream car is a Grand National. Uh, my second dream car is a 73 convertible Caprice or Impala. Not a hard top. I like them, but it ain't my dream. Just like I like Regals, you know. But Grand National is my dream. So, uh, and I notice, y'all know me, when I'm really ready to do something, I'm going to get on it. Like, we're like we going to roll with it. And I, after I got the don't ready and put the rims on it, this and that, I was just driving the car, man. It ran so good. I was like, man, I kept saying I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And I was going to do a 355 build. I am going to do one. But it's going to take me to buy a roller. Something about me, it's hard for me to tell up a good car. i always been like that. Either. I love hot rod. But if I buy a car, an old school, and it's running good like an original which I'm probably going to get soon, original box Chevy, because I used to have a, uh, a 87 LS Broham. Me and my wife just drove it every day and put no rims on it, had the baskets on it, uh, burgundy leather interior, the lights sitting on everything, still worked on it. And I was not going to put no engine in it, no flow masters, no nothing. So if I get a car that runs good and can beat like just daily, it's hard for me to pull it apart and mess it up. I can't, I can't do it, man. It's something in me, especially when it run good. You know it's a good car. That's why I kept pedaling around with the don't. But I like hot rods, too. I like hot rods. So I'm like, man, it best to let somebody else have this car. Because if I were going to do the 355, which is a lighter bill compared to what I do, I would have been and done it, point blank period. And then I told my wife, I said, I've been told months before with the contest, I said, I just don't want the car. <laughs> 
I told her plenty of times, I just don't want it. Cause I said, you notice I ain't started on it. We ain't went to Summit. We would have went to Summit and skint down. And I hadn't did nothing. I, like, I was just driving the car, man. So I was like, I'm let somebody else have it. Go ahead and get a convertible. Cause that's what I really want. Get a convertible. But the shop, I said, after the shop get up and all of that, cause I had to go get permitted and all that stuff. Did it still right. Uh, I was like, cool. Now the shop. The shop, I've been staying on the route. You know, everybody asks, when you going to get the shop? When you going to get the shop? Which I had uh, took care of the shop. But I was like, man, I hope the shop gets delivered and, and installed before the end of the year. You know, because sometimes demand be high for these things and you be back, you don't, you know, whatever you fall in line on uh, the order. You know, wherever you fall in line, they come through. And uh, for right, I didn't, I didn't get on it right after. The slab was done. I shot the rim first. I had somebody off in the road with, and I shot the rim. My spirit, like, hold up, hold up, and I ended up getting a better deal, even better deal, which I'm gonna do all the price breakdown and everything in that video. But uh, so I was like, man, I'm gonna let somebody else have the don't, cause I am already in the process of remixing the fleet, both on the outside, which I ain't never done them on the outside, but on the hearts as well on two of these cars. Cause right now I'm down to four. I only have four right now. I don't know what I said right now. I only have four right now. I got two G bodies, two box Chevys, which none of the four going nowhere. R and B, Train Smoke, Meech, and Dolo. They ain't going nowhere. Uh, but I'm finna finish them up. I'm like, let me cut my, let me cut. That's another reason too. I said, let me cut the inventory down. Because for years, y'all saw how I get down. For years, I've been working on multiple cars. It take a lot of determination and it take a lot of money to do that. Uh, and one break, then this one break, you got multiple. Cause y'all know how, y'all y'all saw, if you've been following for years, you know. Uh, I salute myself for getting down like that cause it ain't easy. So I was like, let me, let me, let me downsize. And uh, I'm gonna I'm buy two more. I'm gonna buy two more down the line, but Y'all got to think, like, buying two fresh new cars, then you be ready to jump on them and do all this stuff, the rear and all that. Plus, remix what you got when they not finished in their entirety. So, you know, like Meats, I'm finna do shock chains on Meats. On Meats, uh, he finna get the shocks changed, and then they got to be painted. Uh, headliner and done, interior touched up, things of that nature. Uh... And that's it on Meats, I think. Meats, Meats about the most complete car drivetrain wise. It really is technically complete. It just I, I had a I'm making a choice to change the uh shocks, change the suspension. Other than that, Meats done. So I wanna do that and uh I gotta do A arms too. I'm doing A arms on it, all new front suspension. Well, partially front suspension. Uh Dolo Dolo is uh Dolo pretty much done, but I'm about to remix the engine in Dojo. Do I said Dojo. <laughs> I'm about to, uh, oh boy, I'm trying to get y'all the update, man. I hope everybody watching and listen. But, uh, I'm going to remix the engine in Dolo. So, Dolo finna get a new heart car. I've been running that one a couple years. That engine, I'm going to tell y'all exactly what I'm going to do. I told you, man, I'm turning over a new leaf, man. I ain't, I'd rather show y'all what I'm going to do and let y'all apply it to y'all program. That's another thing. I've been doing a lot of bill sheets, too. They've been keeping me busy, man. Uh, I've been doing some bill sheets, um, and I'm ready to see some of these people put them in car cars. Some people have some bad hot rod, and I'm put some bad combos together. Uh, but that engine in Dolo, we put it in train smoke. Yes, train smoke already set up. Got a Ford 9 inch in it. Uh, it got a glide. Street friendly, it's ready. It got a trans brake, just not hooked up. Uh, so that engine is going in train smoke. Then me and wife have been talking. We gonna remix wifey engine. So either uh well now nah, I know what we decided. So she could have got train smoke engine, but after talking and this and that, we're gonna do her a fresh new build. So that's one build y'all gonna get to see. Y'all gonna see one of my combos. She going to a bigger engine. Uh I'm gonna be specking her engine from scratch. I gotta go buy a block and stuff. Buy a block, Jay what? Yeah, I gotta go buy a block. So y'all know what we're doing. Uh, we're gonna do a hydraulic roller combo. Um, so I'm about to do that. This all y'all got to look forward to. That's why I say I'm not buying two more cars right now, cause this is a lot going on already. So, uh, 
I'm about to buy a block, do her a fresh engine. Her engine, the engine out of her car, is going to be up. I'm gonna do a contest on it. And the drivetrain out of train smoke. I'm gonna have a contest going on on both engines, so somebody gonna win those. Somebody gonna win the engine out of Emma. Somebody gonna be able to win the engine out of train smoke. Emma is a 350 aluminum headed small block. Uh, and then somebody gonna be able to win this 385 stroker out of train smoke. So I'm gonna have two engines that gonna be able to be won. I know they're gonna fill up fast, somebody gonna be super happy. That we doing. So engine out of Dolo gonna end up in train smoke. Dolo getting a fresh new combo. Mighty Emma getting a fresh new combo. Uh Meat's done. Uh RB even getting a fresh new combo. So that's why I'm saying, but I'm gonna use R and B block. Somebody probably man, why why you why you don't get rid of R and B uh engine? But I'm gonna use uh R and B block. So now that I have a shop, R and B probably I'm gonna pull the engine and it'll probably be down because I'm gonna use the block. The other car's not gonna be down until the engines get finished. And I'm gonna drop them right in. Uh so that's what we got that's what we got on our plate. That's a lot. That's a lot. R and B, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go to a centrifugal supercharger. Uh so I'm keeping it small cubic inches because I'm gonna show people. Small cubic inches can benefit from forced induction. I'm going to show people that. So I'm going to do a centrifugal style supercharger. Uh, the blower, I don't know if the blower for sale yet. Before people even ask, I do not know. I might do something with it based around that root style blower. Uh, but this is on my checklist, everything I told y'all. New combo from, from scratch for Dolo. New combo from scratch for Mighty Emma. Emma. Uh, Dolo engine going in train smoke. Train smoke engine going up in a contest. Mighty Emma old dry train going up in a contest. That's what we got going on. And then uh, Mighty Emma gonna have to get a new rein, um, cost the power. So I'm gonna have to put a, a bigger rein in it. Uh, other than that, that's it. That's it, man. So y'all gonna see these cars even better, man. Everything, of course, gonna be pump gas, still street friendly and all that good stuff. And uh, it's gonna be a lot. Now, after I get to the tail end of doing all this stuff, then I'm gonna look into buying two more cars. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna look into buying two more cars, and you know, carry on like that. So, and we're still working on the Mustang. You know, wife and Mustang, uh, doing stuff here and there. Been contemplating taking the engine out of it. So it, it, it's a, it's a lot, man. It's a lot of engine. It's gonna be a lot of engine combo going on. Uh. And, and you know, doing that. And what I'll probably do too, I'll also probably end up, if I fit it in, depending on how the year go, I might end up doing one of my combos and buying all the parts and going ahead and having it assembled and then give it away in a contest, you know, a raffle or something. But uh, it'll be one of the J. Michael Spec combos. But I'll be done, bought all the parts and have it assembled because I know people that get bill sheets, they work at their own pace and stuff. So, and some people not gonna see any videos and so, which cool, that ain't, they don't have to. So y'all won't be able to see exactly what, how some of these combos get down that I'm specking. Um, only one y'all, y'all see how mine get down that I spec, uh, but, you know, I might do one from scratch. Just the engine, don't even put it in there. Fresh engine, zero miles, and then do a contest on it and somebody win it. Then they won't, all they have to do is stick it in their car and they can see how it performs. You know, I give them the uh, converter recommendation and all that stuff, so they'll uh, set it up right because that'll affect everything how it perform. But other than that, man, y'all, we, hey, we've been good, man. We've been good. I hope y'all been good and all of that. I hope y'all been staying with me, enjoying the holidays and stuff. Uh, and, yeah, that's what we got on our plate. So we're going to hit the ground rolling. Slow rolling. Hey, we're gonna hit the uh we're gonna hit the ground rolling, man. Uh, uh first part of the year. And uh we still gotta take this thing to the track, man. I might go ahead and buy some racing wheel for it. I need to for real. I need to buy some racing wheel. That's the only only reason we ain't took train smoke to the track. And that's what I'm gonna do, y'all. That that's what I'm gonna do for real. I'm gonna go in here and buy some uh I'm gonna buy some racing wheels. 
for the back that'll fit the back car. You got a forward boat pattern in the back. I'm eventually gonna have some axles made, so when it's time to put wheels and stuff on it, I won't have to be having two different set uh, boat patterns of wheels. You know, I ain't, I ain't a fan of having that doing that. And then see when I get changed that over, had the axles made for this, then I'll be able to change the wheels out between this car and wife car because I'm gonna have to have it uh c notch because she wants some wheels we're gonna put some 22s on her car uh sitting low on them it'll be going to lawless so y'all get a chance to see that it's a lot of stuff playing man it's a lot of stuff playing that y'all gonna get to see y'all gonna enjoy uh so and i probably will be buying a box chevy for parts um y'all probably will see that it ain't nothing on my bill it ain't gonna be nothing nice it's just something for parts i've been I bet I got a, my eye on a couple of box Chevys. My my they on my radar because of the interior. I want the interior out of them. Uh, and that's it really. With interior, I'm gonna get the fenders off. So like I said, they're gonna be for parts. Get the fenders off for of meat. So when it's time to get meats painted, I have that. Cause that's all I'm lacking. I got the bumper fillers, door handles, all that stuff. And uh, the interior is gonna go in Dolo because that back seat I ain't never had a back. I had a back seat and it ain't been buttoned down. And my kids have never rode in that car. We have never rode in that car as a family. All the years I had it, only because of the interior. I ain't never had the back seat situated right. So I'm just going to get a factory box, uh, put factory box Chevy interior in it and uh, sell the seats. So then I'm going to literally put everything out of a box CD. One of these box Chevys I got my eye on. I'm going to buy them, transfer all the interior over, door panels everything so Dolo gonna have a fresh factory interior in it but that way the family can ride in it everybody can ride in it as a family man so you know that's what i'm about to do uh so yeah that's that's where we at with everything y'all um uh, kind of like like i said it's pretty much an update video because i know everybody don't follow on facebook and instagram so you probably wonder what what i've been up to that's what i've been up to so uh yeah y'all see train smoke fix and the shop video gonna be coming hopefully the door the garage door should be in next week i'm hoping i'm hoping to have it on schedule for next week and then it'll be like an hour hour and a half job i'll uh, go ahead and finish that video up wrap it up and then y'all will be able to see it so y'all probably saw a glimpse of it in one of the pictures man you can see the top of it but i forgot one of the pictures of the video so yeah, man. I hope y'all enjoy yourself, man. Enjoy your holidays and all that. And I appreciate everybody. And uh, I appreciate y'all. BCG, we out.